What's good y'all? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm going to share part two of my huge haul from the Dillard's Clearance Center here in Arizona. If you guys are in my area, you guys already know that the Dillard's Clearance Center is closing and I actually picked up a bunch of pants, a bunch of shirts, just a bunch of stuff for 90% off. Now, when I first heard about the sale, I actually got there a little too late so it was a bunch of stuff that was already gone. So shout out to everybody that was able to really take full advantage of the sale. For me, all I was really able to grab was a bunch of shorts, pants, and a few shirts. Um, yesterday, I dropped that video talking about the Polo Ralph Lauren pants that I got in a salmon colorway. And I picked those up for about $3 a piece. And those should sell for about 30 to 40 bucks. And I got about 100 pairs of those. So that should be some huge profit, especially during the spring and summer months when people start to wear those type of colors and they're actively searching for those type of pants. So it might take a while until they sell but that's just the, that's just one of those things that I've learned while I've been a full-time reseller is that you definitely have to always plan ahead sometimes you might have to buy something and wait a couple months until you really get your profit and for me since I was able to uh, get so many pants in just just a huge amount for such a good deal I couldn't say no to that so very similar situation when it comes to these shorts uh, a lot of the brands are not very super high end I wish they were all polo Ralph Lauren even though Ralph Lauren doesn't sell for a ton of money that's definitely a brand that a lot of people are more familiar with but this brand is Cremu or Cremio not exactly sure how to pronounce it I'll show you guys the tags later but for the most part these shorts that I grabbed I spent about a dollar fifty a piece some shorts were a little more some uh, some brands I spent maybe two dollars a piece but like I said they were all 90% off all brand new with tags and these will definitely sit until the spring and summertime rolls around but just if you guys follow the channel you guys know that last year I purchased a bunch of Ugg boots in the summertime for a really really low price and once the winter time came around I was able to really capitalize on that and that's what really made my fourth quarter really really big was the fact that I had so many winter boots in stock and that's what people were actively searching for so I figured as long as I invest my money in an, in something that will definitely sell something like shorts especially being brand new I could easily sell these for at least anywhere between 20 to 25 Five bucks so that's what I'm going to be shooting towards and since I have about 150 pairs of shorts and I spent about a dollar a piece on these trust me you guys already know it's going to be a ton of profit it's going to it's going to be a while until I see all of that money but once they all sell out I'm definitely going to see a lot of money so let me just go ahead and show you guys some of the brands that I actually did pick up so these are the Armani exchange shorts and these were in like a denim kind of like a chambray colorway really nice really clean kind of like an indigo colorway I should say and these should sell um, I'm thinking somewhere between maybe 40 bucks on these of course brand new with tax and on clearance these were actually 55 bucks uh, retail price 110 we don't really pay attention too much to retail prices on there especially as resellers because as you guys know the market kind of dictates the price uh, next was these Hugo Boss pants I got only four of these and these on the tag were 72 bucks so these will probably sell maybe maybe 40 to 50 bucks on these um we'll see how they do uh hugo boss for me doesn't usually sell for a ton of money but especially shorts brand new in the summertime those should do well and we do have a couple um like one-offs some sunburns from heart shaper marks these were only 30 bucks on the tag and that's probably what i'll be asking for when i actually get these listed but we have a ton of styles a ton of different colors have so many of these so many of these as you guys can see and i'll just continue to give you guys some b-roll and show you guys all of the pants that i actually do have but it's about 100 to 150 pairs of pants so i'm definitely looking forward to just getting these listed and the ones the way i'm going to tackle all of this because as of right now they're all across the living room so it's kind of intimidating right now to be honest with you guys but what i'm going to do is really work on just focus on the multiples any pairs of shorts that i have several different sizes in and as long as they're the same style and color i'll list those first because that'll just be one listing even if it's you know 10 shorts of the same color and style that'll just be one listing for ebay and for poshmark and i'll just continue to kind of knock it down that way and the good thing is like i said it wouldn't take too long it's just the fact that i have so many different styles and so many different variations that it might take me some time to actually get this listed but thankfully my wife works with me now so with the both of us doing this we should be done within about maybe a day and a half we're going to take our time and just kind of relax because i don't want to just you know try to knock this out in one day 
day. Even though I probably can, I'd rather not. I'd rather just take my time with this. But overall, I hope you guys get some inspiration from this. And one of my goals for 2020 was to do some liquidation and some wholesale. And this is liquidation at its finest. So that's just a good tip for you guys to just know that you don't always have to search online to get liquidation deals. Sometimes you can just go to your local stores, your local malls, especially if you're in a smaller town. A lot of malls are closing all across the country. You can definitely come across a lot of really good deals as long as you're out there actively looking for it. And for me, since the area that I'm in now, the thrift stores aren't as good as they were when I was in Santa Barbara. So I'm really just trying to take full advantage of all the opportunities that I have. And this just came at the perfect time. So I'm going to be selling shorts for the whole summer, for the whole year practically. But with the margins on these, I should be making some good money every time a pair of shorts sell. So that's all I got for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any helpful hints and tips for me in terms of storage or in terms of just listing these quicker, definitely drop them in the comment section because you guys are always super helpful and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. For the winner. Cuz you feel like you was losing. Only for the winner. Who would you keep from pulling like only for the winner. Only for the winner. Only for the winner. Boy my heart is cold. And I'm too cool to sweat it. I should have never offered it. I'm tight and now I'm off this shit. You wanna be a real